together. Give the Lord a big round of applause. Kindly be seated, please.
Let's all stand, please. I thought this guy was going to be nervous singing. He did well. Give him a big round of applause for us, He did well. He did well. One of these nights, I'm going to sing for you, all right? I promise you, one night, I'm going to sing for you. But, but I sing for you every night, not you? Not you? I sing for you every night, not you? All right, let's stand wherever you are. This is the moment the word of God is about to be preached. And so, let's stand, please, as we sing our theme song. Only a look. Everyone together. Close 
every heart lifted upwards to God. Every head bowed, every eyes closed, every heart lifted upwards. Our gracious Father, this is the moment when again your word will be opened. Lord, I'm only the instrument. I pray tonight that as I give myself to you, your spirit will use me to bring a message of clarity that will invite men and women to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you tonight that the word of God still speaks to mankind. And I pray tonight, Lord, that you would speak in such clear tones that people will walk away from hell and walk into heaven with Jesus Christ. I pray that your Holy Ghost will mingle with the word tonight. Speak to hearts. Step out of the pages of your word and into the hearts of God's people. Help that we will leave here tonight transformed by the glory and the word of Jesus Christ. Hear our prayers tonight and grant us your blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let everyone say Amen and Amen. Amen. At the end of the message this evening, I am going to make an appeal for somebody here who would want to give their lives to God in baptism this coming weekend to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. What do you say, everybody? Amen. I am bold about it. Let me tell you, I am bold about it because I know that when Jesus is in the life of anybody, they can ride any storm in this life. Yes. I know that. I believe it. And so I'm very bold about it. I'm going to invite young and old, whoever you are here tonight, as long as you listen to the word of God and the spirit makes impressions on your heart, that you will get an opportunity at the end of the sermon to surrender to Jesus. Amen. And one look can change your entire life. Somebody say amen. Yes. Let's go to the sermon tonight. The message tonight, there is a very a passage of scripture that we repeat every night. It is important about eternal life. So let's repeat the passage of scripture tonight. The, the passage of scripture comes from John chapter 17 and verse 3. Let's read together. It says what? And, and this is what? Life eternal. Everybody read it together. Let's start over. It says what? And, and this is what? Life eternal. That they might what? Know thee the only, only true God and whom? And Jesus Christ. Whom thou hast what? Has sent. That's the word of God tonight. Amen. I'm here tonight to give you, offer you eternal life yes. that comes only through Jesus Christ. Amen. And God wants to give us. It is a gift of God that has been paid for by the blood of Jesus Amen. Christ. Human beings don't have to go buying money for it. Mm. All you need to do is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes. So I want to say to you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, go to the next slide please. I want to say to you tonight, God has a definite plan to redeem mankind. Yes. And to restore us back into the image and likeness of Almighty God. Amen. When God created man, the Genesis account says that God looked down and he saw that everything was good. Yes. And when God says it's good, it's good. Yes. You didn't hear that, right? Mm. When God says it's good, it's good. But sin came into the Garden of Eden. Mm. And when Adam and Eve sinned, you and I have become victims of a sinful nature yes. that is rebellious against God. True. That rebellious uh, nature uh, uh, is not able to take care of itself. So at, 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 uh, in the Genesis account, the Bible says that God gave us a promise. Yes. That one day, I'm going to bruise his head. Yes. I'm going to crush his head. Oh, so yes. that those of us who are alive can become victim, victors yes. for the grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I thank God tonight that 2,000 years ago, Jesus, all the way he went to Amen. Calvary and paid the price. And today, Jesus Christ. Christ has paid the price so that you and I can have salvation that is full and free. Come amen. on, somebody say amen. Yes. So he gave the price so that we can have uh, uh, the redemption over sin. But not only that, I am grateful tonight that he did not only take 
care of sin, he took care of death. Amen. And so 2,000 years ago, early one Sunday morning, mm. my Bible tells me that there was a command from glory yes. so that the angel of heaven can come to earth oh. to redeem mankind and to set him free Amen. from the grave. And when that angel Gabriel landed on earth, there was a great earthquake. Yes. And my son, the father calls you, the Bible said. Oh, yes. And up from the grave he arose oh, as a mighty yes. victor always for. And because he leaves, my friend, I can tell anyone that I can face tomorrow. Yes. Because he leaves, even though death comes, I know that I will be victorious over the grave. That's the glorious thing yes. we have tonight in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. So I thank God tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, because of that, the Bible says that no one goes to heaven or hell at That's death. It. When a man dies, he goes to the grave. We made that clear last night. Yes. When you die, you go to the grave. At death, all your senses are lost. Yes. And a dead man knows nothing. True. So even if a dead man leaves a beautiful wife behind hmm. and, <laughs> and she plans to get married, yes. it doesn't change the picture that he's dead and he knows nothing. Amen. I tell people who want to get married after the husband died, you're free to get married hmm. because he's not on vacation. <laughs> He's not going on vacation. He's not coming back. True. So you're free to get married. So let's go on. Next slide. I want to show you something. So the Bible says in John chapter 11 and verse 11. Read on with me. Read on. It says what? These things what? Said he. After that, After what? that he said unto them. Our friend what? Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. You remember the Bible says so. When a man die, he is sleeping in a state of unconsciousness. And speaking about the resurrection of Lazarus. Jesus says what? But oh, what? I, I go that I may what? Awake him out of his heart. Jesus went to the tomb so that he can awake Lazarus from his sleep. Yes. Read on. Next, next, next slide. Follow me closely, please. Read on. Verse 14 said. Then said what? Jesus unto them what? Plainly what? Lazarus is what? Dead. Is dead. So his spirit is not one place and mm. the body is one place. When you die, we discussed that last night, yes. you go in the grave, my Bible says. Look at John chapter 5, verses 28 and 29. What the Bible said? It says what? Marvel not at this hour. For the hour is coming. In which one? In the which all, all that in the, the grave shall so what? Hear the voice of God. Take yes. note of that, ladies and gentlemen. All the time is coming, the Bible said, when all who are in the grave will hear the voice of Jesus. Look and see what verse 29 said. And, and shall what? Shall come forth they that they have done, done good, good unto the one. I want you to take note, my friend. I've been telling you, when you die, you go to the grave. Yes. But something happens when you go to the grave, yes. after you go in the grave. The Bible says, the hour is coming when yes. all who are in the grave yes. will hear it's the voice of God. Yes. There will be two groups. The first group, the Bible says, those that have done what? Good. Good. Um, go back um, for me, please. Go back for me, please. Those that have done what? Good. Unto the resurrection of what? Life. Watch it. Look at the next group. Next group. Next slide. Next slide, please. And they that have done what? Evil. Unto the resurrection of what? Damnation. Damnation. What these meetings are doing here mm. is calling men and women to walk away from damnation yes. into salvation. Yes. with Jesus Christ. Amen. That's why we're here. Yes. I don't want anyone to be left out. Hmm. I want you to accept the salvation that only God offers. You yes. see, when a man dies, he stays in the grave until the resurrection. There are two of them. The Bible yes. says there are two resurrections, but at the same time, there will be four groups of people mm. when Jesus comes. Look at the next slide. I want to show you. Which group will you be in mm. is a question of your own decision. Yes. So look, read with me. 
There will be the what? Righteous living. Come on, follow me closely. Mm. When Jesus comes, there will be the righteous right. one. Living. All right. That's group number one. Mm. Number one. There will also be the what? Righteous. So dead. when those people who are dead uh, who come accept Jesus and obey his precepts yes. and believe what God says, yes. they are obedient to God's Sabbath. Yes. And that they are obedient to what God says in his word. Yes. The Bible says when you die, you die as a what kind of man? Righteous. As a righteous man. Yes. At the same time, if Jesus shall come now and those of us who are here yes. are obedient to the will of God. Yes. We are what? Righteous hearts. Living. living. So that's group number one. And group number what? Two. All right. Group number three. There will be the what? Wicked living. The wicked living are those who are not covered by the blood of Jesus mm. Christ. You have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Mm. You have been to meetings like these. Yes. And I just say, ladies and gentlemen, there are lots of people who have been to meetings yes. like these over and over. Some of you might have spouses who have been saved by the blood of Jesus yes. and you refuse to accept it. Now let me say to you, if you die now, you are numbered among the what? Wicked dead. The wicked who are what? Dead. So the question is, which group will you be in? Mm. That's your choice. Hmm. That's your choice. So the Bible says, look at the next verse. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 6, and read on it to everybody. Everybody got to read tonight. Just says what? For the Lord, Lord himself shall descend from heaven with, with a what? shout. With the voice of the archangel. Ah, well, follow me closely. Follow me closely. When Jesus bursts the skies of glory, yes. the Bible says, at that time, it is not hail Selassie. No. Hmm. Did you get it? True. There are lots of people who go behind and say, Jah Rastafari, he's the last mm. The Bible says, For the Lord, the Lord Him, come and follow me. For the Lord, the Lord, Lord Him Himself shall what? Shall descend from, from heaven with a what? With a shout. And with the voice of the Lord, let me tell you, it's going to be commotion in oh, this place. Yeah. People talk about a secret rapture. Yes. Let me tell you, this is nice. Yes. We are shout with the voice of the Lord uh, and with the what? Trump of and God. the what? The dead. dead room in Christ rise shall first. rise first. Now, let me tell you the truth. Mm. You got to take it and understand. For you to be safe, mm. you got to be mm. in Christ. In because Christ. when you are in Christ, you will rise first. Next slide. Next slide. Then we will show what? Alive and, and remain shall be shall brought be up together Praise with them God. in the clouds. Let me tell you, when Jesus comes on that day, yes. there will be righteous people who are alive. Amen. And these righteous ones, the Bible says, shall be, be caught, caught up together up. Yes. with them in the clouds to, to do what? Meet the Lord to meet in the, the Lord in the air. And, and so, so shall, shall we what? ever be ever with, be with, with the, the Lord. Come and say amen, everybody. Yes. That's a glorious Amen. time in life yes. to know that you have suffered on this mm. time. Let me tell you, when you start to serve Jesus yes. Christ, you've got to be prepared to go to hard oh, yes. They're going to fire you from yes. the job. People will not like you. They yes. will marginalize you. Mm. But you don't look for glory here in this world. Your glory comes one day. Yes. The Bible says, then we wish our watch Alive and ah, shall be shall caught, be caught, caught together, together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. What a glorious Amen. day that will be. What yes. do you say, everybody? It's going to be a glorious yes. time. Uh, verse 17, the Bible says that. Verse 17, I'm going, I'm sorry, I'm going now. It's going to be a glorious time. Yes. But look at that. Next slide. Look at that. Ecclesiastes 5, though. But what? Be not rash with thy mouth. Yeah, go on. And let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Yeah. For God is in heaven. Stop there. For God is where? In heaven. There are some people who walk around and say, there is no heaven to go to. Mercy. Heaven is on earth. Hmm. Well, let me tell you the truth. The Bible says that God is where? In heaven. In heaven. Hmm. God is in heaven. And, and thou upon, upon earth. earth. So we are on yes. earth. 
and God is where well in, in heaven. Therefore, let, let thy words, words be few. You. Do not mock these people. Mm. Let me tell you, people, there are lots of individuals today who walk around speaking what the Bible does not say. Yes. As a son of a preacher, I am here, the Bible and the Bible alone. Yes. And the Bible says, there is a heaven to go to. Oh, yes. Well, I know I want to go there. Yes. Next slide. Next slide, please. We're going quickly tonight. Blessed be the Lord. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ which according to us, his abundant mercy, had begotten us, what? Begotten us again unto our a lively hope. A lively hope by the word. The resurrection of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ from, from the, the dead. dead. So the Bible is saying, because of the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, you and I have what is called a lively hope. Yes. The hope is not dead. Yes. You may see people dying today. And yes. Time tomorrow. Oh, yes. Don't you lose hope yes. that one day God is going to bust the eyes yes. sky. He's going to rain down from oh, glory yes. to give reward to yes. those of us who've been living for Jesus. Yes. Right? Don't say the Bible calls it a lively hope. hope. Yes. Every time I go down, mm. I keep coming up again. Yes. The devil put all kind of sickness oh, inside yes. of me, oh, yes. but I'm not going to give up. Yes. My hope is alive yes. because my hope is built yes. on nothing Hallelujah. less than Jesus blood yes. and his righteous self. I dare not trust the sweetest flame, but holy leave on Jesus name. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All on the ground is one sinking sand. I am going to keep my hope alive because I know that he that shall come will come one of these days. Amen. That's the hope I have in Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, Peter yes. says it is a lively hope. Yes. A lively hope. Next slide. He calls it a lively hope, my, my friend. Mm. And not only a hope, a hope to what? An inheritance incorruptible. No, you're gonna read that. You're gonna read that. A hope to oh, a what? Inheritance that is what? incorruptible. Incorruptible. And, and what? On the fire. And that what? Paid on the way. Reserved in heaven for what? Come on, somebody yes. say hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. The Bible says it is incorruptible. Yes. It oh, cannot yes. rot. It will not rot. It cannot fail. Oh, yes. Earth cannot do it, my friend. I don't care. As a matter of fact, there will be no sin there. Yes. The Bible calls it Unincorruptible and undefiled. Un yes. He got no cancer in him. Mm. He got no eye problem in him. The Bible said it is undefiled. Yes. It doesn't fade away. Amen. Every time I wake in the morning, it's a new mercy I see Amen. from God. All that I need, yes. God provides. Hallelujah. That is reserved for us. Yes, the Lord. Woo. And to Hallelujah. get it, you got to make a decision to follow Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. It doesn't come like that. Preach on. It doesn't come like that. Next verse. Revelation chapter 20. In verse 6. The Bible says what? Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first, in the first resurrection. resurrection. Stop uh, there. If you're planning to go. Hmm. You can't go anyhow. Hmm. The Bible says. Blessed and holy is he yes. that had part in the first. On such the second second death had no power. You in trouble. Mm. But they shall, shall be, be priests of, of God and of Christ. And shall reign with him a thousand years. A thousand years. Let me say this to you. There are people who say, when you go to hell, hmm. you're going to burn forever. Hmm. Well, the Bible says the wicked will be getting what is called the second death. Yes. God is going to take us to, let Thank me tell you, a vacation. Lord. All those of you who like um, cruise, hmm. doesn't matter when you go, after eight days, you have to come back. Of course. <laughs> you spend all your money, you're coming back. Yes. All kinds of places you go. I've traveled around the world. The place I've enjoyed the best. I went to a hotel in Panama. I remember mm. I went to a meeting. I went to the Panamanian hotel there. 
goodness gracious me mm. when i put on the bed i lie on the bed it just fold me nicely mm. i call my wife i say girl that is place to be <laughs> the place is nice mm. everything inside is yes. white as they have a bark inside the room i call the front desk i ask them what about this bar they tell me with the what you have you can drink what you like man i didn't play with it <laughs> i did not play with it i drank i mm. i lied on the bed i took pictures but after four days mm. i yes. had to pack up oh yes and go back home mm. it doesn't matter what you do True. but the bible says when the second that Hallelujah. time comes yes. at the first resurrection we're gonna have one thousand yes. years vacation with the lord jesus Amen. go to the next slide revelation chapter 20 and verse four. go to the next slide and i saw what sorry sorry I come back come back come back come back come back revelation chapter 20 gold. and verse 4 he says and i saw what and they that sat upon them and the judgment was given to them and i saw what the souls, the souls of them that were departed go on read on read on with me and for the word of god and which had not worshipped the beast yeah. neither his image neither had received his oh. upon their let me, forehead let me, let me tell you what the bible is saying hands. what the bible is saying that during those ton, those thousand years with jesus christ the saints will have an opportunity yes. to judge the people in the world oh, yes. well at that time it's going to be too late yes. but what is going to happen look at me everybody mm. god is going to have we open before us the opportunity to yes. tell us why i'm only using a hypothetical mm. situation oh, yes. why did this brother get yes. saved and that brother didn't get saved yes. he's going to reveal to us that this brother came to the meeting on yes. the 20th of february 2019 yes. and the pastor opened the opportunity for your salvation and he walked away without surrendering to jesus mm. god is going to tell him he got the opportunity yes. he walked away but then all you can say too late mm. Too late shall be the cry. That's what Revelation said. I saw thrones and they sat upon them, yes. and the judgment was given unto them. Yes. And I saw the souls of those who are beheaded yes. well, for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. God. You are called for Apostle Philip. Yes. But at that time, it is too late. Too late. In the meanwhile, the saints, mm. the Bible says, they, they shall what? Live and what? Reign, reign, with, reign Christ. with Christ. How many years, everybody? Thousand years. One thousand years vacation yes. with Jesus Christ. And when the thousand years is through, yes. something dramatic oh, yes. is going to take place. When Jesus comes in his glory, the Bible says, sinful man cannot stand the glory of God. Yes. Remember when Moses was going up on the hill oh, to, yes. get the, to get the, 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 the stones from yes. Jesus. So the Bible says, Moses couldn't stand the, the, the glory of God. So God said to Moses, I'm going to hide you yes. in the cleft of the rock. Yes. And when Jesus passed by, they only saw the backside of, of Jesus. But when Moses came down the yes. hill, the people oh, saw yes. Moses first glowing. Oh, yes. They wonder what really happened mm. it was the glory of god yes. that passed by well what the bible is telling you at that time during the time well, next slide please next slide for me please the bible says but the rest of the dead what live not again until the what the thousand years we finished let me explain that to you when the thousand years is through mm. there will be a great drama yes. taking place God is going to come back down. Oh, yeah. But you see, the saints at that time, during the second resurrection, they are going to see, but they will be struck down by the brightness and yes. the glory of God come God's face. When he came, uh, 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 when Jesus comes, my friend, the Bible says, uh, he will change this vile body yes. of earth. That's why immortal yes. has to put on immortality yes. so that we can be in the presence oh, of almighty yes. god i thank god this morning my, this evening yes. my friend our glory at that time will outshine the sun yes. our glory will outshine anything in this yes. world we will be in the presence of god Amen. there will be no need of thinking about mm. death because at that time immortal splendor shall yes. be something to behold oh, yes. and let me tell you the joy of being in heaven the joy of being there yes. is that we will be in the presence of Amen. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Let me tell you people. 
when I was living in St. Martin, they gave me an invitation. The King of Holland, the Queen of Holland, first mm. one, was coming. Mm. So they sent me an invitation to go to meet her. Uh, so I told my wife, I said, me? I'm not Dutch. <laughs> so I called the people and I said to them, I am not Dutch, but the other minister who is serving with me, um, you can have him go along. Mm -hmm. They told me, you can't go. Mm. It's too late. The security detail had already six months ago been monitoring me and watching, oh, Lord. investigating mm. everywhere I went. And so they found me to have been a safe person Amen. in the presence of the queen. At that moment now, to change it, you couldn't change it. True. So I went in. I have a picture in my house where I was shaking her hand. The picture, the guy charged me $500 for the picture. Hmm. I left it. I didn't take it. I said, I don't want it. I shake a woman's hand. $500. And if you see the picture, our hands did not even yet touch. Hmm. But he said to me, Pastor, you know what makes this important? The person in the picture. Hmm. $500. I didn't take it. After three months, he called me and said, Pastor, you don't want the picture? I said, I'm not paying $500. He said, give me $300. Mm. I, I ah, left it. Mm. I said, I ain't want it. You can keep it. I know who I am, and she know who she is. Oh. <laughs> After six months, he called me back. He said, you don't want the picture? He said, give me $150. I took the picture. Mm. It's well framed in my house. <laughs> Shaking her hand. Let me tell you, it was, well... <laughs> I won't tell you what I was about to say. But I tell you something, people. When you are in the presence of these people, yes. there is a nice feeling. Oh, yes. That's just a circle that not everyone mm. will be able to get in. But when you are in the yes. presence of the King of Hallelujah. Kings and the Lord of Lords, yes. there is no segregation mm. there. We are in immortal yes. splendor, my friend. We are in the presence of the King yes. of Kings. And when we go there, no one can stop us from sure. going there. Anything we do, my friend, it will be holy yes. in His presence of God. Look at the next text. Look at the next one. Next slide. It says, and to you who are what? Trouble. Rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from, from heaven. heaven with his what? My Go ahead. Next Jesus. slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide for me, please. Next slide. Next slide, please. Go on. Next slide. It says what? Uh, back up. Back up for me, please. In flaming what? Fire, taking vengeance yeah. on them that know not God. Well, the Bible says, those who do not know God yes. will be in trouble. Trouble, they yes. did not have a relationship with God. They did not obey his gospel. And what will happen to them? Look at the next text. Next text. Go ahead. What will happen to them? Who, Who shall be what? Punished with everlasting what? From the presence of the Lord and from the Lord. So those who do not have an ex a relationship with yes. God, who did not give their lives to Jesus, the Bible says, you will be punished with everlasting destruction. Yes. Talk about some of that on Friday night. I'm going to talk about some of that. Next slide. Next slide, please. Verse 9. Read on with me. Revelation, uh, uh, verse 9. You, I, think, I think you're going to get... Uh, where are we? Even him who is... Go ahead. Read on for me. He says what? We've got to go back. Yes. And what? then shall that wicked be revealed. Be revealed. Whom, whom the Lord, Lord shall what? Consume, consume with what? The spirit with his spirits mouth. of his mouth. And shall, and shall destroy with the what? The brightness, the brightness of, of his, his coming. Go on, read on. Next text. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please. Even him. Even him. Who's what? Is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Yeah. All those people who deceived one another. The Bible says God going to handle them. Yes. Those who preach not according to the mm. word of God, God is going to handle them. Oh, yes. The Bible says, uh, who's coming is after, after the, the workings of Satan, Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. wonders. When you turn on the television screen, you see all kinds of people who say they're healing oh, yes. and doing all kinds of stuff. But really and truly, the Bible yes. said they were lying wonders, yes. deceiving people yes. to take their money. Look, let, let me tell you the truth. I can fill this church out. Oh, yes. I just preach what everybody wants to say. True. And everybody will come. Yes. But I have 
have a command based on the word of God yes. to preach what the Bible says. Amen. And what the Bible says is not popular. Now I know it's not popular for some of you when you come in here because to serve God requires sacrifice. Yes. You gotta give up your job and Sabbath yes. and follow what the Bible says to remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Yes. But I give you one word: yes. if you are obedient to God in the matter of Sabbath keeping, yes. God is gonna provide for you something. Amen. Else. Amen. That's the truth. And let me tell you this word. A religion that doesn't call you to make sacrifice, leave it alone. Have mm. nothing to do with it. Hmm. Next one. And with all deceivableness of and unrighteousness in that them that perish, perish because, because they, what? they receive not, not the, the love of what? The truth. Yes, let me, they, let me might start there. they did not love truth. True. Hmm. Truth that is being revealed here, they don't love it. True. The brightness will slay the wicked. Yes. The Bible said they did not love truth. Truth is hard. Yes. But when you know truth, truth will set you free. Amen. When you come here, you hear truth that you don't hear otherwise. Yes. You don't run and make excuses about truth. You embrace what is yes. truth. God says, I am the way, the what? Amen. The truth Amen. and the life. You are lost because you don't love truth. Mm. It is not truth that you that that, that doesn't set yes. you free. It's the love of truth. Yes. And the Bible says, All the wicked will be slain in the yes. grave, my friend. Oh, yeah. It will be a tremendous time. Mm. But what about Satan? What about Satan? Next night. Look up at Satan. Revelation 20, verse 1 to 3. What the Bible says. And I, and I saw an angel come down from heaven. Having the what? Having the key of the bottomless pit. Yeah. And a great chain in his hand. You see what the Bible says here? The Bible says at that time, hmm. Satan will not have anyone to tempt. True. Yeah? He will be bound. Yes. We say the work of the devil is to deceive mankind. True. And for a thousand years, he has no one to tell. He will be on this devastated earth. Yes. Yes. At that time, he's going around looking for people yes. to tell. That's where I got the sermon from. Yes. At that time, I can say, yes. Yes. Good for Satan. Good for Satan. Nobody to tell. He's yes. just walking around. And we say, he's bound by the call, a yes. chain of circumstances. Yes. He's looking to see all that he can yes. look to tell. But he will not have anyone to tell. Yeah. Lord, read, read, read. Next, next, next verse. Verse and 3. He laid and he laid hold on the one. That old serpent, yeah. which is the devil and and, Satan and he burned him for, him a thousand for one years. thousand years. Come and read on verse three. And cast him where into the bottomless and shut pit him up and what? Up and set a seal upon that he should what? That he should deceive. He cannot the deceive the nations no more till the what? Thousand years should be finished. Uh, and, and after that, that he what? He must he, be, he be deceived. Little seed. That thing. is good for Satan. Yes, good for him. But let me tell you, people, Satan is terribly, you know. Yes. Satan is a wrong. We look at Satan as though he has a fork in his hand mm. coming to tempt you. Sometimes he come looking nice and pretty, nice. dress up yes. in jacket and tie. Mm. But the Satan, you got to know Jesus yes. to walk away from him. When he thinks of what is coming, he begins to shake. But I want to say tonight, don't join Satan. Yes. Join Jesus Amen. Christ. He will be loosed after a thousand years. Yes. And where are the people coming from? Mm. Next, next verse. Next verse. Read on me, please. The thousand years. Come and read the next. And I saw what? Saw thrones and they that what? Upon them. And the and judgment the was given unto them. them. That and was. I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. Come and read on. The witness of Jesus and, and for the, the word of God. Come and read on next stage. And which what? And which had not worshipped Worship the beast, did the what? Image, uh -huh. had received with mark, mark upon his forehead, and, uh -huh. in their and the what? And they live and, and reign with Christ for the Lord for a years. thousand years. Come on, read on, read on. Next verse, he says what? Do, do you not know that what? That the, the sin shall judge, judge the world? world? And, and if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the what? You will have an opportunity to know and to discern why God yes. did what he is doing. Oh, yeah. Read verse 3. Read the next one. He says, no. Know ye not that what? We shall, we shall judge what? 
and of all those angels that rebelled yes. against God, those who pierced him yes. in his hand. My favorite author said, they are going to see the male prince yes. on his hand. They will have an opportunity, my friend, to see God. Those who rebelled against God, oh, yes. we are going to judge them. That is the choice we got to make tonight, yes. my friend. The choice we have to make is to be on the side of Christ. Amen. So after the thousand years, hmm. something happens. We come into the end. Revelation 20 and verse 5. Revelation 20 and verse 5. Walk with me, please. Walk with me, please. Next slide. But the rest of the dead, what? Live not again until, until the, the what? Thousand years the thousand are years are past. Yes. Your life will pass hmm. before you. Many people will hear my voice. Hmm. Your life will pass before you. The next verse, Revelation 27 to 10. And, and when, when the thousand, thousand years are expired, expired Satan, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. One read on, and shall not and go, and, and shall, shall go, go out to deceive the nations from what? which are in the four quarters of the earth, yeah. Gog and Magog, yeah, he's to happy gather again. them together. To he's, he's happy again because he's seen people. But he knows this for a short time. Yes. He will marshal the people to deceive one another. Yes. Let us go on. You see, at that time, the new Jerusalem will be coming down out of yes. heaven after a thousand years. And he's there seeing the beauty of God's people coming down Amen. with the trumpets and 10,000 yes. angels. And Satan will look at mm. them and say, let us go back again yes. to deceive people to take the city. Read on, read on, read on. Look at to what battle, it says. The number, the, the of, number of them is as a sand of the sea. Let me tell you, the oh, people yes. who will be on Satan's mm. side is like the sand of the sea. All nation, yes. kindred, tongue, and people from Grenada and St. Mm. Vincent and the BVI, wherever they are. The Bible says they want to make a great battle yes. because they see it coming and they want to take the yes. city down. Read on, read on, the Bible says. And, and they, they went, went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp yes. of the saints about yeah. and the beloved city. Yeah, they want to take the beloved city. Let me tell you, people, a lot of people yes. will miss heaven mm. because they don't want to give up a boyfriend. Yes. A lot of people will miss heaven because they want sex. Hmm. <laughs> miss heaven. Yes. But look at what the Bible says. And fire and came what? down. Look at what happened. Too late. Hmm. Fire came down from, from God. God out of heaven and, and did devoured what? them. Devoured them. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide, please. And I saw a, a new heaven and a new earth. For the, the first, first heaven, heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was, and there was no Come more on, somebody sin. say amen. amen. John says, when the fire yes. devoured them. Let me mm. tell you, people, it is not just fire. Yes. You need to know to be here on Friday night. Mm. Fire came down from heaven, yes. the Bible said, and devoured them. And I saw a new heaven mm. and a new earth. For the first heaven, yes. God is going to create a new heaven. Yes. Come on, somebody say amen. Yes. And a new earth. Amen. The first one is no more, mm. and there would no more see. Come on, next says, and I, John, saw the yes. And I, John, saw the, come on, follow me, follow me. And I, John, John saw the, the, the holy, the holy city, city, the new the Jerusalem, Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, Lord, prepared as a bride at dawn for a husband. Verse 3, verse 3. And I heard a word, great voice. A great voice of heaven, heaven say, behold, behold the, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will what? Well, he will dwell with them, and they shall be his own, and God, God himself shall be with him, and what? And, and be their God. God. Come and read verse 4. And God, God shall what? Wipe away all tears from their heart, and there shall be what? No more death, there shall be no more sorrow, neither shall cry, nor neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are what? What a God we saw. Come on, somebody say amen. Amen.
God is going to wipe away all tears from your heart. Nothing that causes us to cry will be there anymore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise. Oh, let me tell you. Hallelujah. All oh, that will be gone. Amen. Yes. You sure you got it? Yes. <laughs> Man, when God finished destroying oh, this thing yeah. by fire, God is going to create new things. Amen. Dressed yeah. in immortal splendor. Mm. Now, I don't know how you're going to look, but I know how I will oh, look. Yeah. I don't know if you will recognize who will be there, yeah. but I know who will be there. Oh, yeah. I will be Amen. there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says it, my friend. The mm. Bible says, there shall be no, no more death. death. I said, yes. praise the Lord yes. tonight. Hallelujah. Funeral homes making mm. millions of dollars out of us. The Bible said, there shall be no more death. Yes. Neither sorrow yes. nor cry. Yes. Neither shall there be any more Hallelujah. pain for the former things I want. Passed away. Read the next verse. Next, yes. next one. Read the next one. The Bible says, Jesus calls us, my friends. A life of obedience to follow him through baptism. Yes. It is not an easy road. No. If you walk by yourself. True. Met a gentleman this evening. He said to me, Pastor, young man, hmm. this world has nothing. To live for him. So true. He wants to walk in obedience to God. Amen. And that's why I am a Seventh day Adventist minister. I want to see people walk in obedience to God. Amen. Get ready for that great day. Yes. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide for me, please. Jesus calls you to be what? Ready for the second coming and one and thousand, thousand years, years in heaven. You've got to be ready for the second coming. Yes. Let me tell you when it is for you. If you step out of here mm. and you die tonight, my, my. you're ready. True. How you meet it, that's how you will get it. Mm. You don't need to make no exchange now. It is going to be too late. Mm. When we invite people to these meetings, it's to challenge them to follow Jesus. Yes. And there are several people who once were members of my church. But True. they have become delinquent with their faith. Mm. And have walked away into all kinds of illicit things. Mm. Drinking and gambling and oh, marrying yeah. and giving in marriage. And living lives that are not true. I'm here tonight. In the next few moments, I'm going to call you to resurrender your life to Jesus yes. Christ. God wants you to be part of his kingdom. Amen. If you miss heaven, you miss everything, True. ladies and gentlemen. So Look at the next slide. Next slide, my friend. Jesus called you to live in the new earth with Amen. him forever. It's going to be a glorious time, my friend. Yes. To live a life where there is no sin. Amen. There is no, no sickness. Hallelujah. No pain. Mm. All things are passed. Away. Yes. That, that's what living is for, my friend. Amen. It's going to be nice. People ask me, how would you be when you get there? Mm. Well, I told Pastor Smith today. I said, well, let me tell you one thing I do know. I do not know how my wife will dress when she gets there. Mm. But I know I will be, based on what the Word of God says, we're going to be back to our Edenic splendor. Oh, yes. So we will know one another. But the yes. glory of God encircles us. Amen. We have no need of enticing behavior mm, towards true, one another. True. We're going to have the joy to live with Him forever. Yes. And forever. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? And forever. Amen. And forever. Mm. And forever is a long, long yes, time. Forever. You ain't got no more gray hairs. Mm. You ain't got no more. Uh, 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 uh. Some people you miss something from. You ain't got yes. none of that there. You ain't got no, no glasses there. True. You ain't got no, no knee band. Yes. You ain't got no ankle band. Praise no more Lord. cancer. No more heartache. No more tendonitis. Amen. No more sore throat. No more common cold. No more doctors. Yes. My friend. The, the, the Bible says there should be a tree in the midst of the yes. garden. And the tree there is going to be for oh, healing of the nation. Hallelujah. And above all, all, we're going to be in the presence of Jesus. Yes. And we're going to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the pen of inspiration tells me we're going to have the privilege of living from one place, yes. from one planet oh, yeah. to another. Yes. We're going to have the joy of landing in yes. Mars and yes. landing in Earth yes. and landing in Pluto. Yes. I don't care what they yes. say. Heaven is a real place, yes. my friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. That's where I want to be, my friend. And by the grace of God, I do not want anyone mm. to stop me from missing Amen. Heaven. Next slide. Mm. The new Jerusalem. Mm. Look at the scenes. Scenes from all over. We'll come to God. Yes. Next slide. Next slide, please. Lots of people. Mm. Want to lose out. Yes. Lose out. Next slide, please. All who want to spend a thousand years with Jesus. Yes. Please stand. As long as you can stand, stand. This is a very important moment in the meeting. Not going to be long tonight. No one leaving me now. No one leaving me. As I told you at the beginning, somebody here for the first time this coming Saturday morning we have a baptism to give people an opportunity to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior I don't know who you have but I'm going to call you in the next few moments to step forward and say pastor I am taking my stand for Jesus go to the next slide go to the next slide go to the next slide for me please Jesus says, he who believe, you must be baptized so that you can be saved. Let me tell you to members of my church, you have a responsibility tonight. You have a friend that is close to you. Challenge them to give their lives to God. Bow your heads with me, Father in heaven. This is the moment now. This is the moment, Jesus. Someone needs to say, All to Jesus, I surrender. I don't know who's here, Lord, but I know you have the power to bring people here who needs to be saved. So, dear God, in preparation for this baptism this weekend, I'm calling somebody. They may be here for the first time. Watch that young lady, oh God. Look at that young man tonight, Lord. He might have been a member, but somehow he's become careless of his faith. Tonight, Lord, is his night. Watch that mother tonight, Lord. Let nothing stand between them and the Savior. Please, Father, give them the courage to say, I'm going to take my stand for Jesus. We ask it in Jesus' precious name that everyone say, every head bowed, every eyes closed, every head bowed, every eyes closed, every head bowed, every eyes closed. Nobody look at me now. Every head bowed, every eyes closed. Every head bowed, please pray where you are. Pray where you are for somebody. Keep your head bowed and eyes closed. Pray for somebody. Pray for somebody. Pray for somebody. It's 45 seconds again. We pray for one minute. Pray for somebody. Let the Spirit of God speak to somebody tonight. Pray for somebody. Pray for somebody tonight. 30 seconds again. Pray. Keep praying. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. That lady tonight, Holy Ghost. That man tonight. Jesus, please. 15 seconds again. Pray, please. Pray, God. Jesus, deliver somebody tonight. Please, Jesus. Please, oh God. Father, 
five seconds again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open your eyes. Look at me, people. We're getting ready to sing. As we begin to sing, there is somebody here who wants to say, Pastor, I'm going to say yes to Jesus tonight. Get ready for this weekend. So I'm going to bury my past and walk with Jesus Christ. Sing for me the song. I don't want to be left out. As we sing it, I want you to leave where you are. Walk and down and meet me. Let me shake your hand. As we begin to sing it, you're going to leave and walk and leave me here. I want to say, Jesus, I'm getting ready to meet you when you come. I don't want to be left out. Come on, sing with me, everybody. I don't want to be left. Is there somebody want to walk and down and give me a hand and give God your heart? Don't be a sin. Come on down. Let me hold your hands. Somebody want to break away and say, Pastor, I want to give Jesus my life. Is there one person here tonight? Come on down. Is so there somebody want to say, Pastor, I want to give Jesus my life? Come on down. I'm waiting for you. Who will be that person? Escape the fires of hell. Someday, who will be that first person? I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you, young lady. I'm waiting for you, young man. Who will be the person? Come on down. Tonight is your night. I'm waiting for you. All because of his grace. Come and sing it tonight. I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be left out. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Somebody encourage somebody to take that walk tonight. Somebody encourage somebody tonight. Somebody encourage somebody. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, you may think that I'm, I'm waiting. I, I want to finish tonight. I'm not going to keep you long. But I'm waiting for somebody because I'm seeing people on the conviction. Don't hide behind one another. I'm waiting for you. I'm, I'm going to wait for you. I'm, I want the Spirit of God to move you tonight. I want the Spirit of God to use you tonight. I want the Spirit of God to reveal himself to you tonight. So please, you, it might be your first night tonight, but make a step for God tonight and say, Pastor, I don't know what is going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to work it out, but I'm putting it in Jesus' hands. I'm putting it in Jesus' hands. You don't know how all the faith members are going to work out, but that's what I call a step of faith tonight. I'm going to take a step of faith and say, Jesus, I, I, I want to do your will. I don't want to be left out of the kingdom. I want to enjoy all of what you have in glory. So I'm going to give you one more try. Come on, come on, somebody. Somebody take a step to land. Come on down and come on down and give Jesus your hand. Come on, who be that person? I don't want to be left. Who be that person? Who be that person? Who be that person? Who be that person? I'm waiting for you. Come on now. Who be that person? I'm looking for one person. I'm looking for one person. I'm looking for one person tonight. I'm looking for one person tonight. All right, close your eyes and bow your heads with me, please, everybody. Is there somebody who didn't come? But want to say, Pastor, I want to make it. I want to give my life to you one of these days to be ready to meet you. Just put it up and take it down. Just put it up and take it down. Just put your hands up and take it down. You didn't come, but you want to say, Pastor, one of these days, I want to give my life to you so that I can get ready to meet you when you come. Just put your hands up and take it down. Just put it up and take it down. Let me assure you, just put it up and take it down. Just put it up and take it down. Just put it up and take it down. I'm waiting for you. I want you to pray for somebody. 
pray for somebody. We're fighting the devil here tonight. Is there somebody here tonight who want to say, Pastor, I want to get ready to meet Jesus when he comes. Just put your hands up and take it down. Who'll be that one person tonight? 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 I want to get ready to meet Jesus when he comes. Just put it up and take it down. Do me a share. Just put it up and take it down. Just put it up and take it down. I'm waiting for you, gentlemen. Just put it up and take it down. I, I want to pray for you. Just put it up and take it down. Is there somebody here tonight? Is there a young man here tonight? There's a young lady. Just put it up and take it down tonight. Just put it up and take it down. I see one. I see two. God bless you, sweetheart. He says, just put it up and take it down. Just put it up and take it down. Don't be ashamed. I'm waiting for you. Just put it up and take it down. I see you, my dear. I see you, my dear. Is there another? Just put it up and take it down. Just put it up and take it down. Is there somebody here? We're coming down to the end of the service. We're coming down. Dear Jesus, thank you tonight for the Gospel Commission. Thank you tonight for the privilege of being here. Heaven is real. And we are certain tonight that you are calling men for heaven. Please, oh God, those who have raised their hands, wrap your arms around them. Shield them from the darts of the enemy. I ask that you will preserve their lives so that heaven can be theirs. God, there are others here tonight who need Jesus. Father, we don't want them to go home without him by their side. So I pray, Lord, that you make it possible so that those who are here will not walk away without Jesus. Bless us tonight. We're going to go home, Lord. But I ask, Lord, that you please send angels to watch over us. God, each one of us, oh God. So that our lives can become instruments for your glory. Thank you tonight. In Jesus' precious name, let everyone say, open your eyes, look at me. I am come to the end of the service. But deep inside of me, I want to put back that song on the screen before you go home. Because I'm watching someone here tonight that I want to give them that chance. Put back the song on the screen for me. I don't want to close without giving that person that opportunity. I want to sing it one more time. I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be I believe out of the kingdom of God. Is there somebody who want to say, Pastor, I want to come home to Jesus? I'm, I'm getting ready to send you home. Is there somebody want to leave the back of the church and come on and say, I'm waiting, Jesus, Pastor. I want Jesus. Is there somebody else? Is there somebody who want to come and down and say that tonight before we go home? Encourage your friend. Encourage your friend tonight. Encourage your friend tonight. Gentlemen, take a walk for God. Lady, take a walk for God tonight. Tonight is the night. Tonight is your night. You want to take a walk tonight? Come here, say. 
Let me say, take a walk tonight. God is looking for somebody here tonight. I don't want to close without giving you that opportunity. Because I don't know what's going to happen when you walk away from here. Let me say, take a walk down tonight. Don't be ashamed. I don't want to be Come. left out. Don't be ashamed coming down. I don't want to be left out. Don't be ashamed tonight. Don't be ashamed tonight. I, I'm, I'm delaying. I'm delaying because I'm giving you an opportunity. Who will be that person? Who will be that one person? Who will be that one person? Who will be that one person tonight? Who will be that one person? I'm going to leave where I am. I'm coming to meet you. Who will be that one person tonight? Don't be ashamed. Take a walk of faith for God. Who will be that one person tonight? Take a walk of faith for God tonight. Say, Jesus, I want you. Say, Jesus, I want you. Be that person. I'm with you. Oh Lord, like a baby. Be that person. Encourage your friend. Encourage your friend tonight. Encourage your friend to walk tonight. Encourage your friend tonight. Encourage your friend to take a walk tonight. Oh yes, it be not Jesus. Who be that person? I'm waiting for you. Who will be that one person? Who will be that one person tonight? Say, I want what Jesus has to offer. I'm waiting for you. Take your right hand and put it on your left breast and stay after. I will follow thee, my Savior. Thou will shed thy blood for me. And though all men should forsake thee, by thy grace, I'll follow thee. I pray the Lord bless you and keep. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, let everyone say. Good night everybody. Those of you who raise your hand, I want to talk to you before you leave.